guys, Sean T. Phillips and my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Sean video today. Taking a go out today, see if things came out, see if things are on sale today. Now today, new release wise, I don't think there's too many big things that are coming out to stores. Uh, one of the bigger titles is uh, the uh, series uh, Star Girl. The first season of that one is releasing today on DVD and Blu-ray. Other than that, though, I know Best Buy has a bunch of different, you know, uh, Best Buy exclusive 4K steelbooks coming out today. I believe there is. Um, one of them is like Halloween 4K Steelbook, and there's also a um, Evil Dead 4K Steelbook. I, other than that, there might have been one or two other ones. I'm not 100% sure, but I know for sure uh, those ones are. But next Tuesday, though, uh, there's tons of new releases coming out. Also, like all of October, there is so many different things coming out. A lot of like really cool horror movies are coming out. Of course, you know, Back to the Future 4K Collection is coming out, you know, uh, next month as well. So lots and lots of stuff in October. So October, it's going to be a lot of cool stuff to talk about coming out and some really cool releases and everything but though as always though too at the end of this video is gonna be a whole bunch of brand new DVD Blu-ray and 4k reviews there's actually a ton in this video some really really cool stuff for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys and as always too let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the DVDs Blu-rays and 4k's that are reviewed if you guys have seen the movies what you guys thought of them also if you guys plan on picking any of them up but anyway though guys let's get going and see what we can find today into Target we go and I also want to let you guys know that as of right now, there's only six days left to help out the really cool upcoming anthology horror film, which I'm going to be acting in soon, called The Macabre. This is one I've been talking about a lot lately. Really, really excited about this one. There's some really, really cool people involved in this movie as well, too. It's all put together by Eric Mathis, who's the director, and, he's, and there's also a bunch of, um, a couple guest directors in the film as well. But uh, there's some really cool cast members in the movie that they cannot be announced until after the campaign is done. But I can give you guys some hints as well, and I've been giving hints, you know, in the past and basically one of them is someone who's known to live out in the hills another one is someone who's known to have a chainsaw and the other one is known to have a hockey mask and those are the only kind of hints that I can give but there's like I said there's only six days left to help out the project and there's some really cool perks like pre-order the movie a digital copy a thanks credits producer credits all kinds of stuff there's a, even a perk to act in the movie so like I said definitely check out that below also too uh, this Friday the campaign for the movie and uh, you know the uh, Alien Vampire Busters the movie that I'm acting in with uh, Eric Roberts Andy Dick and Felissa Rose uh, that one will be going up this Friday as well and I'm gonna have a link below too for the Facebook fan page for Alien Vampire Busters so definitely guys uh, join that one you guys can keep up with the movie and like I said that's gonna be launching uh, this Friday for that one but anyway though guys but now we're gonna head into uh, Target yeah so in there though you know there was absolutely nothing new changed at all like I had a feeling though there wasn't really gonna be anything changed out I think that the only thing new uh, this week that they would probably have in there was Stargirl uh, Season 1. And hopefully in the beginning of the video I didn't say Supergirl, it was Stargirl, unless I, I might, might, might have messed it up. But yeah, Stargirl Season 1 I think is the only thing that they might have had in there. But if any of you guys went to Target, let me know in the comments below if that was in there and you saw that or you saw anything different. But like I said, I don't think there's going to be too much that they would have this week. But like I was saying though, in the coming weeks there was so many different things coming out, like tons of stuff. October is a huge month for new releases. But we're going to now head over to Walmart. Into Walmart we go. Well, we're head over and fingers crossed, hopefully there's something new at all over here. I'm not seeing anything new right here. Let's see on the side if there's anything new over here. Well, I do see a couple things. Um, I believe this one came out today, this one, The Legend of Tomaris. I think this might have been today. I, I believe so. And then this one, uh, Michael J. White film here, uh, Welcome to Sudden Death. And that one is uh, $12.96 for the DVD of that one. I don't believe that there is a Blu-ray of this. If you guys have watched this one, though, let me know how uh, this one was. And this might have been today, this uh, Demon Slayer one here, this Demon Slayer collection. This may have been today, and that one is um, uh, $44.96. And then I think this, uh, I, th I believe this was today as well, the silencing. Uh, you know, th I believe this was today, and this is uh, $14.96 for the Blu-ray, uh, $12.96 for the DVD of that one here. And I think this one was actually today as well. This one, I don't know anything about this, though. I'm going to have to read the back of this. This one, um, you know, the Bay of Silence. I have to read what this one is about. It looks kind of interesting. I'll definitely have to read this one and see, though, what this one was. And I don't know what says, you know, putting things back, but I'm going to tell you, like, and I've always, I always show this. These things are so hard to push things back into. You look, see, when you try and push, you can't even, you have to really, like, push really, like, really hard to get back. So that's why it's always like that when I try and put things back because it's like these shelves are really, really hard to put. See, you, you have to really 
they have to really uh, I'll adjust it later but as you see that's why when people always say that about the shelves but other than that though right here in the front I don't see anything new here uh, as far as I can tell we'll see though over here if they have the um, Supergirl mixed in here anywhere because there should be some I feel like Supergirl should be somewhere in here like around either like up in this spot up here I'm not seeing it though and I keep on saying Supergirl I don't know why I keep saying Supergirl it's Star Girl season one I, I keep continuously keep saying Supergirl it's not Supergirl season one came out a long time ago this is Star Girl season one but like I said I don't see it here as far as I can tell I, I'm have to really look through here and make sure I don't miss anything we might head to another Walmart too, but the other thing is the other Walmart though sometimes doesn't put anything out at all. So it might be like not a thing at all in there. But no, like looking here, I don't see anything different here. It doesn't look like it new at all in here. So yeah, like um, that definitely not too much new today. But like I said, we'll go to the other Walmart too just to see in case there's anything different. I did see the over here though in the. Um, I was over here yesterday, and I, I don't usually dig through these, but there's there's a lot of different things, more like random things in the $5 bin than I've seen in the past. And a lot of stuff, too, that, that, that doesn't even go out on the regular shelf that I've seen. It just goes on to in here. But I saw a couple of different things, like um, some interesting stuff, like Mr. Rogers I saw, and a couple other like in, like indie horror movies and stuff that were like kind of like exclusives almost to the $5 bin I saw yesterday. But I don't want to go through all these ones. But yeah, this one, I think this was, yeah, this is the one that I saw this one from um, Wild Eye Releasing. It's like a set here that has, I think this one has never been released on any other one, this one, Werewolf Island. And then it includes like the Snarling, Cold Ground, and Wolf Houses. Like one, I like I said, I think this might've been like a Walmart exclusive or so. I'm not sure because, and like I said, I don't believe there was ever a standalone DVD of this Werewolf Island one or not. And it's only $5, so not a bad price on that. But yeah, though, like I said, that definitely not much new over here today, though. But like I said, next week, though, there would definitely be a lot. But we'll head quickly, though, to the other Walmart, though, just to see if there's anything else different there, though. Into Best Buy we go. Yeah, and I figured I better go before I go to the other Walmart, go to this Best Buy first. Because it's getting a little later, and I, I want to make sure, you know, have a better chance of seeing those exclusive steelbooks in here. Because they usually go pretty quick. They might already be gone as it is, but I feel like the um, the one will. We'll see, though. We'll see if there's any left, though. We'll see. Well, I actually see one of them. I don't see the other. There's supposed to be an Evil Dead to, uh, one. I think it was, I think, I believe it was the first Evil Dead. I don't think it was the second one, but they do have one of the uh, John Carpenter's Halloween ones. So, yeah, see, it's a 4K Ultra HD, has the Blu-ray and digital copy. It's definitely a very cool one here. It's $19.99 for that one here. And this also came out, to, I believe this other one was today too as well, this Jaws collection. Because these have all been released in the past, but this is like a three movie collection. It says Jaws 3, you know, Jaws 2, 3, and Jaws the Revenge, which I, I like all the sequels. And I, I actually always liked the third one because it was all filmed at SeaWorld in uh, Florida. So I don't know, I always, I, as you know, I used to always go to Florida a whole lot. That was like the one trip that I think my family always would go on was to Florida when we lived in Maryland. We went there like so many years in a row so i don't know i always love that one too and my mom's friend bess armstrong also starred in um the third one as well so uh, that's what's one of the reasons why i always liked it too but other than that though here though i don't see anything else here in the front um yeah, and they still have some of the home alone ones these still works and they got more of the hocus pocus ones because these ones had sold out originally really fast but they still have, they got more of those ones back in. Let's see though on the other side here, if there's anything else different here as well. Doesn't look like there's anything. We'll head over the actual section though to see if there's anything else different over there as well though. And over here though in the actual section though, they have the silencing here and that one is um, $14.99 for that one on Blu-ray. And they also do have a Star Girl here. Now uh, this is the first place I've seen the this one. They didn't have it at Walmart. Well, like I said, we're gonna check the other one next and see if they have it. But it's uh, $22.99 here for the Blu-ray of that one. And they also have the Demon Slayer one here as well. And that one is uh, $44.99 for that one. Other than that though here, I don't know if any of these other ones here were this week, like my Hero Academia. I don't know if that was this week or not, or these ones, I'm not 100% sure, I don't believe so. I know for sure though Demon Slayer was, and then the uh, Stargirl one. But other than that though, I don't see anything else different here. I did notice over here though, it was kind of funny, they have like a bunch of like older titles again, that I, it's kind of like random older ones that I haven't seen them have in here for a long time, like so they kind of pop back up in here again, like 30 Days of Night, and like there's a couple other ones in here that were kind of mixed in, like Run, Run Lola Run, and like some older catalog ones that they kind of got back 
in this section here, Napoleon Dynamite and older ones kind of mixed in. It's kind of funny, like, because they were not here before. They're like the $4.99 Blu-ray. So maybe they had like the $5 bin and they just moved them into the actual shelf. But you always have to check over here too, because sometimes there's like random things like mixed in here every so often. So you always have to check. It's like a Resident Evil thing here. This, like, is, is, this is not even a movie. This is, I think this is a, the game. So I guess they must have mixed this up because I'm thinking that's kind of a cool one, but I think that's the, actually the game mixed in here, but it's like a steelbook of the game. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, other than that though, I don't see anything else different mixed in here, but you always have to check because sometimes I've seen things like randomly over here, but we're gonna head now though to the other Walmart though, just to see if they have anything else different there though. Into the second Walmart we go. Yeah, well, I'm in the other Walmart, and I'm not really seeing anything else different here. This one doesn't even seem to have some of the other stuff that I saw in the other one, like the one or two things I did see. Because right over here, though, in the section, I didn't see anything new at all. It seems to be all the same stuff the past couple weeks. So like I was saying, though, next week there's going to be a whole bunch of new stuff coming in. And there are also, like I said, lots of releases in October. But like I was saying, though, the only thing that different that I saw here, because like all this stuff is the same, uh, I don't know if you, any of your stores, though, had the uh, Stargirl one, though. Let me know, guys, if they did. I did see one cool set here, though, because uh, I saw this one last week, and I didn't see this one uh, last week, though. I think this might have been this week, this one, this Tom Cruise 10 movie set here. It has, like, Collateral, uh, Days of Thunder, Jack Reacher, a whole bunch of different ones in here. Tropic Thunder, Vanilla Sky. That one's uh, $29.99 for that one. These are, it's a DVD set. But this is another cool set here. This is, like, a 20 movie collection for $34.99. It's a DVD one as well, and it's, like, iconic films of the 80s and 90s and it has like 48 hours airplane better off dead clueless election beverly hills cop uh, fail attraction ferris bureau's day off flash dance footloose ghost indecent proposal wayne's world uh untouchables tommy boy uh, payback an officer and a gentleman naked gun major league juice so definitely a lot of really great ones in here if you don't have these ones already like i said it is a dvd version it'd be cool if they did a blu-ray like this with all these ones together but definitely a cool set i showed this one last tuesday the 14 movie eddie murphy set but other than these two ones here these are the only things different i see here um yeah so definitely i don't like i said i don't know if they're gonna have that star girl one here or not but uh, and there is some like some Halloween stuff they put out here. Like they have one cut of the dead here. If you haven't seen that one, that one is great. Uh, I really like that one a lot. And then they like re-release like the scary movie films. There's also a Blu-ray of those again. They released a lot of the, the dimension like horror movies, like the Hellraiser ones that went out of print recently. I don't know if they'll get them in here or not. I haven't seen them in any stores. And they also have this Hall this Halloween Town set here too for $9.99, which has like the two movie collection here, both the Halloween Town, Town films. But other than that, though, don't really see anything else different here, though. Anyway, though, guys, that was all for my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments below, though, what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K, if you guys ended up picking up anything today. Like I said, not a ton of things out in the stores today, but next week will be a whole bunch of stuff as for all of October. And also, too, let me know anything new that you guys have checked out, uh, any new movies that you guys have watched, anything new that you're watching on TV, or anything you guys are watching on streaming, or any of that kind of stuff. And also, be sure to let me know as well what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4K that I reviewed at the end of this video, what you guys thought of them, if you guys have seen them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. And also be sure to, like I said, uh, check out the campaign for the macabre. It's the last six days left to help out the project. It'll be a really cool horror anthology. And also be sure to um, join the uh, Alien Vampire Busters Facebook page to keep up with the film and the film's campaign and all that kind of stuff because there's a lot of really cool uh, perks that are going to be in that movie, like options to act in the movie with Andy Dick and all kinds of stuff. So really, really going to be cool uh, perks on that one. And Anyway though, guys, thanks again for watching and subscribing. Now stay tuned for the brand new reviews. Now before we get to the brand new Blu-ray and DVD and 4K reviews, I have some really cool Best Buy exclusive steelbooks here to show you guys. And thanks so much to High Def Ninja uh, for sending over these copies to show you guys. The first one here is the 40th anniversary limited edition steelbook here of the film The Blues Brothers. And I'll show you guys though a look inside at this one. We'll take the disc out and you have Dan Aykroyd there and then you have John Belushi. Here's a look though inside. I'll show you guys, take a look here at the back. 
the Blues Brothers, their, their car. Every time I think of the Blues Brothers 2, I always think of Universal Studios, you know, and, and, and mainly Universal Studios Florida because they always have the Blues Brothers driving around the car. Even to this day, they still have that them driving in the car, which is always a cool thing. I remember even as a kid seeing that. And then the, the Steelbook here, it's the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook here of the Charlie Theron, James McAvoy film, Atomic Blonde here. And I'll show you guys, though, a look inside this one. This one has the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the digital code of the film. This is actually a really cool movie. Also, always love Sophie Botella, who's in this movie as well. Let's see. I'll show you guys, though, a look inside. Let me just take the code out. And here's, though, a look inside. We'll take the discs out so you can see behind here. And here's a look, though, inside here at the steelbook inside. And here's, though, a look at the back. Like I said, guys, just want to show you guys a closer look, though, at these really cool Best Buy exclusive steelbooks here for Blues Brothers and Atomic Blonde. And like, like I said, thanks again for High Def Ninja for sending over uh, copies of these ones to show you guys. Now, over the brand new reviews. And the first one I got here is from Arrow Video. Now, this one is a film that I give my top recommendation to. This movie was an absolute must-watch. You guys have got to check this movie out. But it's a movie here called The Deeper You Dig. And this is a, like I said, this is such a great movie. It's, you know, it's it's a um, actually a whole family who put, put this whole movie together. It's a husband and wife and their daughter who made this movie. And it's basically, though, the... Um, the mother and daughter are actually playing mother and daughter in this film, and then the uh, you know the father he's um, playing the next door neighbor who's moved into this house who's like remodeling the house. And basically though, it's about the one girl he, she goes out at night and it's like sledding, and this guy who's working on the house nearby that he's like doing like renovations to, and he just sort of seems kind of weird the way he's acting. He ends up accidentally killing her in the night. You know he runs over her when she's sledding, and then it's basically like he ends up like hiding the body, and it's like this whole big thing. And then you know from, from doing this he starts to like see this girl again he starts like hearing things it kind of starts it kind of gets him kind of paranoid because at the same time the mother is coming around putting up signs trying to figure out exactly what has happened to her and then like you know he's she's really she's like you know she has the, these abilities as a medium because she kind of does medium readings and people come in and she like tells their future and sees their future and all those kind of things and she keeps being drawn to this guy and feeling like this guy has like knows where his daughter is and knows what had happened to her and it's kind of all these crazy things are happening and there's these ama amazing like edits in this movie where they do stuff where it like cuts from one shot to like the water really quickly and these amazing cuts this movie though is so creepy and so well done I mean this movie is like I said is an absolute must watch the the whole vibe of this movie is creepy it, this is was such a cool film but this is the limited edition version in here which includes an exclusive two uh, disc set including the deeper you dig film as well as the film the hatred their other film from 2018 also has on here reversal two-sided artwork on here a double-sided fold-out poster limited illustrated uh, collector's booklet in here featuring writing by neil mitchell in this one uh, feature wise though it has a commentary track on here with the writer and directors on this one uh, it has at homes with the adams family an exclusive interview with the trio of filmmakers responsible for the film uh in the in it's it's in the blood the family horror genre you know talking about the production has a special effects breakdown with commentary on here, as well as it has a Fright Fest TV interview with the Adams Family, a Hellbender music video, a theatrical trailer. Uh, and like I said, it also includes bonus uh, f uh, film on here, The Hatred. But here's a look, though, inside here at this one. And then here's the... Um the reversible artwork for this one but like I said this movie is so cool like I, I love this one so much here's a look though at the poster here's the um, the film's poster in here and it's it has both images on it so it has this image on here as well as the um, original poster image and then there is the booklet in here I'll show you guys a look at this one Here's a look, though, inside the booklet. It has, like, stuff about the production and writings and stuff like that, stills. But the acting in this was great. This was just such a great film here. Love this one so much. And, and incredibly creepy. And, like I said, super, super atmospheric uh, film. And the next ones here are ones from Arrow Video that I just want to let you guys know uh, were available uh, as well. Let me show you guys those ones here. Uh, those ones here was um, this one here called uh, Warning from Space. Like I said, these are ones I just want you guys to know were available. This one here was Warning from Space. And this one has on here, though, the original uh, Japanese mono on this one. It has newly translated English subtitles. It has a, a select scene commentary with um, on here with the uh, Stuart Gabrath, Gabrath uh, the fourth author of Monsters Are uh, Attacking Tokyo. First ever HD transfer of the American release of the film, including a newly restored English dub track, theatrical trailers, image gallery on this one. And I'll show you guys though a look inside here as well at this one. 
Like I said, it has the booklet in here, which has some stills from the movie, stuff about the production, all that kind of stuff as well here. And then the other one here from Arrow Video that I want to let you guys know uh, was available as well was this film here called um, Ivan uh, Sticks. Ivan Sticks. I don't I don't know how to say this exactly correctly, but it's like Ivan Stick. Tech seat. I guess I don't know how to, how to say it properly, but it stars in here Peter Weller, Danny Houston is in this film, and this one has on here the theatrical cut presented in two versions uh, the preferred director's cut version as well as the producer's version of the film. Extended producer's cut with stereo, DTS master audio uh, presented for the first time, brand new commentary track on the extended cut by co writer and producer actor Lena, uh, Lisa uh, Enos, as well as filmmaker Richard uh, Wolfenscroft. Uh, as well as uh, Charlotte Surrey and a brand new interview on here, a documentary making of the film from Lisa Enos, as well as a Q&A on here. It has on here archival interviews, extended party uh, sequence outtakes, theatrical trailer and in this one here as well. And here's a look though inside it, some of the pictures in here as well with the booklet and stuff about the movie and the production and everything. Like I said though, some really cool releases here from Arrow Video that I wanted you guys to know uh, were available. The next one here is from Lionsgate and it's a movie here called The Silencing. And this is basically though about this guy who kind of like, you know, his daughter had gone, you know, um, something had happened to his daughter, you know, that was, you know, um, kidnapped you know, uh, years ago before, it was kind of this myth thing that was never solved, and he's kind of now living out in the middle of the woods, and he kind of is like on a um, preserved lane, like kind of where they have like um, an area where it's like an animal sanctuary, where the animals are like are protected and everything. If there's a certain animal that's not supposed to be there, that doesn't belong in that area, he has to kind of move the animal and has, has traps to kind of move them on to safer areas and different spots and stuff like that. So he's basically out there kind of patrolling the area to make sure that there's no hunters out there, and if there are hunters he has to move them along and say you can't be out here this is protected land and all that kind of stuff so essentially he's out there doing this but then he kind of realizes though you know that there's somebody out there he sees like on one of he has like security cameras everywhere and somebody like shoots out one of the security cameras so he goes out there to investigate and figure out what's going on and then that particular person starts shooting like at him like with like shooting arrows at him and everything and it's basically though about him out there you know in the middle of nowhere and he did you know and where he lives it's kind of the middle, like I said, this animal shanks where there's really nothing around. The same time he discovers this body out there, and it kind of it has a whole big thing about him having to help do a thing. And it's like, but it's basically like him out there with this person, uh, you know, kind of coming after him out there. And it's dealing with Annabelle Wallace's character, who's like this cop who's trying to investigate this missing person, and all these different kind of things. And it seems as if there's a big connection between all this. But this is a really, really cool, uh, intense movie here. Like I said, this is called The Silencing. This has a making of silencing on here, as well as creating a weapon. And the silencing spear in this one uh, as well. The next one here is from Lionsgate as well, and this is a movie which stars uh, Joss Lucas and Katie Holmes called The Secret, Dare to Dream. And, you know, this is basically, though, about, you know, uh, Katie Holmes' character who, you know, she's she, she's trying to kind of, like, make, like, you know, you know, she's having kind of financial things in her life and trying to figure out exactly what she's going to do. And the one day when she's away at work, her son is at home because he's sick, and this guy comes by, and he's like, oh, is your mother here? I need to talk to your mother. And he has this, like, packet, this envelope that he's carrying with him. And it's kind of like, well, what is in this envelope? And he's like, oh, I have to talk to your mother. And she's like, and the, the kid is like, well, well, you can come back uh, later. Uh, you know, she'll be here in a little bit. And he's like, oh, okay, all right, uh, I'll come back later. And, and basically, though, he ends up kind of t meeting, you know, her. And it's like, kind of like, you know, he, you know you're kind of waiting this movie. When is he going to show what's in this envelope? What is the, the point of this envelope? What is in this thing? But basically, he kind of comes around and he just sort of sees, though, that her, you know, her life has all these kind of problems, like the, le the roof is leaking. She has sort of things going on in her life that are not perfect and everything, and he kind of comes in and and just sort of volunteers to help because like they got in this like accident. It was kind of like every one of those things about like how things all kind of fit together for a reason because the right right when you know he came to the house to talk to the talk to her and she wasn't there, he ended up leaving. The same time though, she was driving home later and then ended up hitting the back of his car. And it's kind of like it's one of those things. It's all everything kind of collides for reasons and stuff like that. So he kind of comes and starts to help 
out on the house, house and fix things up. Like I said, the whole time you're thinking, when is he going to say what's in this envelope? So we're going to know exactly what is going on here and everything. But I thought this was actually a really interesting movie. Jerry O'Connell, he's also in the film as well, playing uh, Katie Holmes's character's kind of, sort of boyfriend that you know really likes her. That you know where she works at this like kind of fish marketplace. But I thought this was actually a pretty good movie here. This one has on there, uh, you know, a featurette, you know, the secret on set featurette on this one here as well. The next one's here. These are all from Universal, and these are some really, really cool releases. These are some multi-pack 10-movie uh, collections here from Universal. And there's four different ones of these 10-pack collections. And like I said, these are really, really cool collections. And all of them include um, Blu-rays as well as the digital copies of the films as well. This one here is the Blumhouse 10-movies, uh, uh, you know, ten, Blumhouse of Horrors 10-movie collection here. Now, this one has on here The Purge, Ouija, The Boy Next Door, Unfriended, The Visit, Split, Get Out, Happy Death Day, Truth or Dare, and Ma. Like all of these movies, I love. You know that. You know all. You know the Purge is basically. You know one night there's kind of crazy. Uh, you know all violence and everything is legal for like a period of of time. Ouija is dealing with an Ouija board, uh, and like you know these teens mess with this Ouija board and unleash something. Boy Next Door was um this guy becomes obsessed with Jennifer Lopez's character who's a teacher. Uh, Unfriended was all set through the computer, and then like weird things are happening to the people who are talking to each other. The visit was two kids that go to see their grandparents that they never met before and there's some weird twists that happen there uh split you know if you know of course like james mac you know mcavoy's character who like um goes and has split personalities and kidnaps these people uh get out of course you know is a girl who's going to meet her um you know brings her boyfriend to meet her family uh happy death day was basically a girl who's like living the same day over and over again uh truth or dare playing people playing truth or dare but it has deadly consequences and then ma uh you know um basically um Octavia Spencer's, Spencer's character who meets these teenagers and says, anytime you guys want to party, you can party in my basement and just drink down there and stuff. But she's like really obsessive and stuff. But really, really great movies here. And each of these movies, though, is on their own disc. So each movie has its own disc and everything here. But a really, really cool collection. Like I said, there's three other ones here as well from these 10 movie sets. And the other one here from the 10 movie collections here is a Focus Features 10 movie spotlight collection. And this one has a bunch of ones that I don't have um, Blu-rays of. But this one has in here Lost in Translation. Amazing Scarlett Johansson movie with um, Scarlett Johansson and Bill Murray. External Sunshine and the Spotless Mind. The movie, you know, with um, Kate uh, Winslet and Jim Carrey. Uh, Pride and Prejudice. A Brokeback Mountain, which is a great movie with Heath Ledger and um, Jake John Hall, who like basically meet out in the woods and stuff like that and have their kind of a secret relationship that, that they, you know, only have when they go out into the woods. Atonement. Burn After Reading. Uh, Moonrise Kingdom is in here. The Theory of Everything, the movie on Stephen Hawkins' life is a great movie. On the Basis of Sex, as well as Harriet, is in this one here as well. Like I said, a great collection here. And the same here, each one has their own uh, disc here uh, as well. And the other one of the 10 movie set, and these ones are really cool as well. The, this one is the Illumination Presents 10 movie collection here. And this one has, um, uh, you know, three, you know, Despicable Me 1, 2, and 3. It has the Minions, uh, Secret Life of Pets 1 and 2, which I've not seen Secret Life of Pets 2, so I cannot wait to finally watch that one. The first Secret Life of, Life of Pets movie, I really love that movie, basically about what pets do during the day and kind of their the adventures they go on and everything. It also has Sing in here, which Sing is another one that I really liked uh, uh, that one a lot, about the singing competition. Uh, Dr. Seuss's The Lorax is in here. Uh, Hop, uh, The Grinch, Dr. Seuss's The Grinch, the animated Grinch, which I really like that as well. Um, Scott Mosier, you know, who was, you know, worked with Kevin Smith as a producer, he was one of the directors on that one. And these ones have all the features as well, like the, um, like in the this this set has like commentary tracks, class cast interviews, featurettes, deleted scenes. Uh, same with on the um, the Blumhouse set had like featurettes, deleted scenes, alternate endings, filmmaker commentaries, more behind the scenes. So lots of stuff on these ones. This one has on here mini movies, um, music and sing-alongs, interactive content games. So all of them have lots of features on these. But I always love these big collections here. So these are definitely a very cool uh, set here. And the last one of the 10 movie sets is the one here. This is the... Um, the um Sorry, everything everything starts falling is the DreamWorks 10 movie uh, collection here and this one has in here uh, Shrek uh, Spirit Madagascar Kung Fu Panda How to Train Your Dragon The Crows Home Trolls 
uh, Boss Baby, Abominable. All, a lot of these ones I really like. I really liked um, Boss Baby and Abominable a lot. Of course, Shrek, that's like a, a must-watch movie if you guys have never watched Shrek. But this has the alternate sh um, animated shorts, music videos, how-tos, trivia, deleted scenes. So lots and lots of different things on this set here as well. But really, really cool uh, 10 movie collections here, uh, from uh, all from Universal. And the next ones here, these are all from, uh, the next ones are from uh, Warner Brothers. And they sent over a free copy of this one to let you guys know this one is available. And this is a show I had heard a lot of really good things about. And this is a very cool show called Star, Star Girl. And this is the complete uh, first season of this one. This is basically, though, about like Luke Wilson's character who worked with this guy, you know, Joe McHale's character who's a superhero. And he ended up like, I think he was Star guy, Star Man, I believe. I can't remember exactly, was it, did it say on here? Yeah, Star Man. And basically, though, he was a superhero and he ended up getting defeated and died. And like you know, he has this staff with him. This is in the very first episode. Is what happens. And Luke, because of that though, Luke Wilson, uh, you know, he kind of like because he was part of this team as well that Starman was in, and and the other people in the team as well. When Starman died though, that whole team kind of disbanded and stopped doing this anymore. And like basically, that was it for the most part. And um, you know, Luke Wilson's though his character, he ended, he ended up getting married to this one girl's and has become her stepfather. And you know, when they're down, he's like when they moved into this new house, she's kind of looking through things and everything, and she ends up discovering this box and finds this staff in it. And the staff is, and you know, ends up being drawn to her. And, like, you know, kind of, like, is following her, and, like, and she has the power and the ability to use this staff. And he's kind of thinking, well, how is she able to do this? Uh, you know, because no one else has been able to. He couldn't even use the thing. And it's basically, she comes up with the idea, well, what if Starman was my father? You know what I mean? And he's like, oh, what are you talking about? That's not possible. But basically, though, it's about her kind of becoming the superhero and like kind of just starting to discover her powers and what kind of powers that she has but it's a very very cool show like i really like this one a lot here this one is definitely um worth checking out for sure and this also has in here the digital code of the show it has an you know the little episode guide in here for this one but definitely definitely is this is one i would say is worth checking out like i really like the ones that i've checked out so far of this one here the other one here from warner brothers as well and they sent our free copy this as well let you guys know this is available this is uh, rick and morty season four here and this is a show i have not seen every episode of the show throughout the years but it's a really really wacky kind of show it's just basically though about the characters of rick and morty and this kid with this kind of like, like the scientist is kind of like a doc brown kind of character uh from back to the future because he has like this time machine and the kid is basically going on these adventures with him and they kind of have all sorts of problems that happen weird type of characters they come across and it's all sorts of what you know really wacky crazy out there kind of you know humor and everything on this is this is also the uncensored versions of of the show but it's a it's a, a really really fun show here like i i, I have really like this show a lot here's a look though inside here the artwork inside of this one here but like i said it definitely would be if you guys you know a fan of this show one you guys know that this one is available and this is rick and morty season four here uh on blu-ray and it includes the blu-ray as well as the digital code of the show this one here I, I just finished watching this is from warner brothers they sent our free copy as well to let you guys know this one is available and this is happy halloween scooby-doo original movie and what's so cool about this is this actually has um elvira in here animated elvira and it's basically about scooby-doo and the whole gang that are all going to you know this town for like this kind of like halloween parade float that's going on and they're there trying to track down this bad guy who wants to let out this like these this gas and stuff like that uh and they basically catch the guy but like one of the things that has this crazy gas stuff gets like loose and then it crashes down right near where there was also this toxic waste and the gas and toxic waste kind of mixed together and scooby and, and you know shaggy end up you know discovering this thing and they see like that the the, the, uh, the gas and, and the liquid stuff of the, the poison and everything toxic waste is all leaking down in this pumpkin patch and they basically t you know turn the pumpkins into these crazy monsters and the pumpkins all come to life and are kind of taking over the town and it's basically them trying to figure out exactly how they're going to stop this and elvira is throughout this uh because she was you know in the uh the town's like parade that's going on so it's really cool to see animated Elvira in here also Bill Nye the science guy he's in here as well and he kind of gives them like a you know um like a modern modernized you know kind of like super current like mystery machine in here so he's throughout the sh you know the film as well but also includes three bonus cartoons on here but definitely a really fun new scooby-doo movie uh the next one here is from uh cbs paramount and this is one i want you guys know is available and this is penny dreadful city of angels season one here this stars natalie dormer as well as nathan lane nathan lane is great on here i'm always always been a huge fan of nathan lane i think the first thing i ever saw him in was mouse hunt but i always have loved uh, birdcage that was like one of my top 
top favorite movies that Nathan, Nathan Lane's been in. Like I, I and this he's playing in this one like this cop in like a really really different kind of role. This and this one is like if you haven't seen the other Penny Dreadful series that takes place like way way before this one, uh, you would this is its own thing, so you'd still be able to understand this. But this is set in 1938. And it's about the two detectives, you know, played by Daniel uh, Zavato and Nathan Lane, kind of investigating these weird things that have happening around. And it's basically about North Natalie Dormer's character who can go and like kind of like um, she's kind of trying to cause all sorts of havoc around the town and kind of can change her appearance and her look and stuff like that and kind of corrupting people and all these type of things. But it's a really pretty cool show that has on here, though, a bunch of different uh, featurettes on the show here. Introduction to Penny, Penny Dreadful on here and some featurettes on the making of uh, the show here as well. And I'll show you guys, though, a look inside here. It has the episode guide in here. And then this one here is a four uh, disc set. And the uh, next one here, this is from IFC Films, and this is another one that I give a top recommendation to. This movie was great. It's a movie here called uh, Baby Teeth, and this has Ben Mendelsohn in here. And Ben Mendelsohn is always amazing, and he was so good in this. Uh, everybody was great in this movie, but it's like I said, it's called Baby Teeth. This is about this girl, though, who kind of like um, she's going around one. You, know, you, you can kind of tell that something is up going on in her life, and she's not well. You know that she's sick, and they don't get into all of the what all this. They you know kind of find out more of this as it goes along. But you know that she's sick, and she ends up the one day riding on the the um, the train, and she ends up seeing this guy who's kind of like you know you know he's trying to trying to get money, and he needs money and things like that. And he she ends up starting to talk to him, and he's a guy who's kind of like probably like six or seven years older than her, and he's kind of has problems with drugs. And all kind of problems in his life and he's stealing things and all this kind of stuff but she ends up meeting him and you know she kind of starts to like him and it's basically though about like um their relationship and like um and then her parents are kind of like well who is this guy why is this guy coming around but then they, they know that she's sick so they don't really want her not to be able to see this guy but at the same time he's a lot older she knows that they know that he's like stealing pills and he has addictions to things and all these kind of things but this is just an amazing character piece all about about her, you know, her and her family and this guy that she likes and kind of his problems and, you know, why she has her own sicknesses going on. They're trying, they're dealing with his problems with, you know, addictions and going, you know, and having like to try and stop doing the drugs and all this kind of stuff and trying to help him while he's at the same time stealing things. And, but it is so well done. This is one, I, like I said, I would highly recommend you guys check this out. It's called Baby Teeth. And if you guys have seen this one, let me know what you guys thought of this one here. And the next one's here from Mill Creek and there's some really cool releases here from them. Uh, this one here is a double feature a comedy double feature which includes Big Bully and uh, you know Wrongfully Accused uh, Big Bully stars Rick Moranis and Tom Arnold and wrong Wrongfully Accused stars uh, Leslie Nielsen but these are really really fun movies uh, both of them available for the first time on Blu-ray Big Bully though I absolutely love that movie that's a movie that I watched that movie that came out in, in 1996 and when that one came out I watched that movie so many times and it's basically though about like um, you know Rick Moranis and, and Tom Arnold they were like went to school together and like um, Tom Arnold was like a bully in school and he kind of like stole this like moon rock thing and Rick Moranis kind of told on him for that and he ended up getting kicked out of school and then you know what I mean had to go and he kind of changed his whole life and but then when he you know Rick Moranis character goes back to be a teacher at the school he finds out though that he's still there the bully is still in town and he's like really paranoid about this and he's basically kind of coming and making his life of living hell again because he figures some things out you know about that moon rock and everything and it's basically him like you know them both treating each other like they're kids like an elementary school again and it is like crazy it goes in these crazy levels wrongfully accused is a really fun like kind of parody movie as well it's i i, I both of them are really fun movies here but so glad big bully is on uh blurry and it also includes a uh, digital code through um you know uh, their streaming service movie spree so it has digital codes of the films as well the other one here is a double feature uh here which uh, has uh um, imaginary crimes and silent fall silent fall is one that i remember the first time i heard about that movie was the one kid in the film uh you know, Ben Faulkner, the one kid in the movie, uh, I actually went to school with him in high school. So I was in class with him and I remember he like told me about this movie and I was like, oh, I got to see this movie. And it was like, you know, and I, I had to see this one. And it's about a kid who has autism and he basically witnesses this murder and like he kind of knows who did it, but he can't talk and stuff like that. And he's not speaking and he's kind of too afraid to say anything. And it's kind of like that. And you kind of know that he knows it's a, an intense movie, but I really like the movie. It stars, you know, Richard Dreyfuss, Linda Hamilton, uh, Liv Tyler's in the movie as well but a really really cool one here this one includes a digital copy as well 
This is a triple feature set, which has uh, Di Diabolic, uh, Incognito, uh, as well as the In Crowd. The In Crowd, you know, was directed by Mary Lambert, who directed, you know, the um, uh, the uh, Pet Cemetery films, and that was a pretty cool movie about these weird group of these like kind of rich kids and stuff like that. But that's a really cool one in here. Like I said, this is the triple feature one in here, and this also includes the digital copy of, of all the films as well on Movie Spree. And the other one here from Mill Creek is the film The uh, Kid, uh, The King and I here. Here and this one has the digital copy as well. Like I said, just want you guys to know that this one was available as well. And also from Mill Creek is the um, the newest uh, Ultraman collection here. This is an Ultraman which includes two series, movies, and a special as well as a digital copy as well. This one is Ultraman, uh, the series here. Uh, this is called Ultra. Uh, uh, Nin Ninjana here, uh, and this has on here um, Ultraman Ninjana, the series and movie in here. Also, also has inc includes Ultra Fight Victory is included as well here in this set. And I'll show you. Here's a look at the front and the back, and inside it has a digital copy. It also has the. Um, what's really cool too is they have like the the character guides in here. It's kind of show you the characters and the versions of Ultraman in the show, as well as all of the uh, creatures and the monsters that are in the episodes as well. And then it has like an episode guide in here. To, you you know, and talk, you know, talking about the episodes, and then it talks about, you know, um, the different versions, like I said, the different versions of the creatures and everything on this one, but a really cool set, and, and it has the movie spree digital uh, codes as well of the show, but some really cool releases here uh, from um, from Mill Creek. And the next one I got here is from Second Sight Films. Now, keep in mind, though, this one is region B locked, so you guys would have to have an all-region Blu-ray player to play this one, uh, or, of course, be in the UK, because this is a UK release, but this is a really cool uh, you know, release here of the film The Strangers, because I've always loved this movie. It's a great, super intense movie. It stars Liv Tyler, and it's basically, though, about this couple that live out in, like, this house, like, out in the middle of nowhere. It's one of those kind of areas where it's, like, you always think it'd be kind of cool to have a house with all this land out in the middle of nowhere where you have all these, it's kind of like all this, like, just nothing around. But at the same time, you never know who could show up, and these kind of people, you know, if, if something like this happened, it would not be good. And it's basically those, these three strangers wearing these masks uh, show up out front of the house and kind of make their, this couple's, like, life, life, like, a living nightmare about them trying to survive or they're trying to get in the house and coming after them and everything but it is a crazy movie i've always loved this movie but this one here is a limited edition uh, version which is a limited edition box set which is limited to only three thousand copies which has a soft cover book with essays by anton battelle as well as mary beth and andrews plus stills and behind the scenes images it also has a poster with brand new artwork as well in this one uh, feature wise though this has a theatrical cut as well as extended cut uh, because you were home a brand new interview on here with the director a brand new interview on here with the editor has a uh, new brand new interview with uh, Liv Tyler on here on it has an interview with here with Laura Manjolis it has uh, the elements of terror uh, interviews with cast and crew strangers at the door interview with the director a uh, deleted scenes theatrical trailer I'll show you guys though a look inside here and what's included in this and like I said it has the booklet which has some stills from the movie stuff about the production all that kind of stuff in here but a really really cool release like I said a really creepy movie and then also has the poster for the movie poster here as well and this is the um the image that is on the front of the blu-ray but a really really cool release here like i said this is from second sight films just keep in mind though this is a region b uh locked release and also the case too i always love these it's in a hardbound uh, case here and the next ones here are all from moviezing.com and i have a link below where you guys can order these ones for the best price but this is one i was so excited to watch now the first one of these films was probably one of my top favorite anthology movies of all time i love the movie the stories in it are great it's like so well done I thought the sequel was okay. I liked some of the stories, but this one was definitely on the same level with the story-wise as the first movie. And this here is uh, Tales from the Hood 3, which stars Tony Todd. And this one, like, I, I really like this a lot. And this is basically, though, about Tony Todd and his daughter, and they're kind of like going down into this, like, kind of like the basement of this weird building, and you don't know exactly what it is. And, and, the, and the daughter is saying how she's seeing things, and she's saying, oh, they're coming after us. And he's like, oh, it's okay. It's going to be all right. And it basically, though, she's telling telling these stories as they're trying to get away and, and kind of hide and he's, he's like you must be very quiet but he, and she's basically telling these stories and there's some really good stories in here one of them is about like um these people that live in this um in this apartment complex that the the owner of it wants to tear the place down to kind of redevelop it and he has this guy who's going to buy the land and all that but it's basically like they, they, the family that's there won't leave and um the, because of that though the guy's like i'm going to sue you if you don't get them out of here you promise me you're going to get this land and all this stuff and you're going 
going to have access to this whole place. And basically, though, he's like, he finds this weird guy that he hires to kind of set a fire to get them out of the place. So he's like, well, I don't want anything to happen to them, but I want you to set this fire so they get out. Of course, they end up dying in the fire. And then he ends up you know, hearing and th things are coming after him. One of them, though, was this woman who was an actress, uh, you know, and she's like this singer. And, and the guy who's like meets this woman who's like a performing, you know, who's like singing in this in this group, and he like really is like, well, I would like to represent you, and but you know, um, but you can like live rent free at this at this house, but you know, it's like this you know this woman who's this old actress there, and it's kind of that comes into play. Uh, one of the other ones that I really liked was this guy who's like this who's going around stealing shoes and stealing things and everything, and like um, he ends up stealing these pair of these like gold shoes, and then once he steals these gold shoes though weird sort of things start to happen to him and that's probably my favorite of all the segments that one and then the one with the um the the, the one to get the family out of the house the other one in here i'm trying to remember what the other one the other one was like this weird guy who lives in like an underground bunker and he's always talking to himself and saying all these crazy things but i really like this one especially like the last segment with the shoes uh that was amazing like the way it was shot and like it's super atmospheric and really creepy kind of reminded me like of um david cronenberg a little bit with some of like the the lighting and the look and everything but uh, it was really this was really really good and the next one here is from moviezing.com as well and this is also from the warner archive and this is a movie which i had not watched in years and i forgot what a fun movie this was and it's called drop dead gorgeous this has in here uh christy alley uh, eileen barkin kirsten dunce denise richards uh you know Brittany murphy uh you know will sass was in this movie it's a great cast and it's like in the style of a movie like you know waiting for guffman and best in show it's done like documentary style it's about uh these girls in this small town that are putting on this like beauty pageant and it kind of follows around the contestants kind of talks about their life and all those kind of things but it's like done like kind of like a parody too because it's like some really wacky ridiculous stuff happens but what's going on though is people that are running for this pageant there's like accidents that are happening around and like lights are falling on people people are getting injured people are on like this um lawnmower that blows up things are happening it's kind of like what exactly is happening there and why is this happening and it's just basically following these people around and you know uh it's it's just great it's like really really a fun movie and it's just guy like said it's done in the style of like you know documentary style like something like uh, best in show what's just following the contestants and the kind of the whole process that goes along and it, the main person that follows is kirsten dunst's character but it's a great really fun movie looks great here on blu-ray the other one here from movie zing and uh, the warner archive is a double feature here which has genesis 2 and planet earth and these are really cool these are tv movies that are both from 1973 and then 1974 for when planet earth came out and this one is basically the uh, the sequel stars John Saxon, but it's a ba basically though like um but this guy who gets sent into this um they're having like an experiment where they kind of put you like a suspended animation where you can like go to sleep and like a whole year could pass by and stuff like that you know kind of thing you would use like in space and stuff like that and uh what ends up happening when he's going to do this test uh the, there's like this terrible earthquake that happens and he ends up getting buried in the place and then it's like years and years and years later in like a different century and everything in the total future they end up like uncovering this guy and let him out and then he kind of has the culture shock of what the future Future is and everything. It's that's basically what it is. But it is a really really cool uh, science fiction film. This one looks great here on Blu-ray as well. Like I said, it has Genesis 2 and then the follow-up film Planet Earth. And uh, this one here is one that I didn't get to watch this one when it was on. I'm not sure if there's going to be a second season. I, I believe so of this. And this is from the Comedy Central. And this is also from Movie Zing. And this is a really fun show. This is stars Aquafina, and this is Aquafina is Norma from from Queens. And this is basically though about you know Aquafina's character, and it's kind of like her basically her life and her prana problems and everything. And uh, she lives with her you know um, grandmother and her father. And it's basically though like. Um, she kind of comes with the idea that she wants to move out and then like of course she doesn't know how to do it she doesn't know who she's going to live with and she's having all sorts of problems and her life is kind of all in shambles and she's always trying to kind of figure out her life and and it's kind of her going around with her grandmother her grandmother is amazing the, the actress who plays the grandmother is some really funny stuff that goes along and it's just basically though about like her trying to kind of like handle her life and you know all these different kinds of things and just kind of problems with her like fa father and problems with her you know just every, all kinds of stuff it's just, it's hard to explain it's just basically just like kind of her going through her life and trying to get herself figured out it's very fun it has on here though uh you know it also has some features on here that all the episodes are uncensored it has bonus shorts a gag reel on this one but this is a really really fun series and this here is a um two disc set
And the next ones here are all from Movie Zing as well, and these are also Nickelodeon releases. Now, these are ones that I'm so excited about. Like, I never thought we would get complete seasons of these ones. Uh, and this is one, the first one has been released in the past in, like, two DVD volume sets that had, like, four episodes each, but never in anything where it had a complete, uh, you know, season or anything like that. Hopefully, though, they release, um, you know, Nickelodeon releases season one at some point, and same with season three. I really do would love to have, like, the whole series of this released. But this is the Amanda Show, the complete second season here, and this is the three disc set this is a really fun show this season it you know ran ran from um 2000 to 2001 of course it stars amanda Bynes, uh you know drake bell and josh peck and it's a sketch comedy show kind of in the style of like all that you know essentially and it's kind of like these great kind of ongoing characters that amanda Bynes played like one was like a character who was like a, a, a stalker version of her always trying to meet her one of them was this one that had these like big teeth like just going bam, bam, and all this and then my favorite of all the skits was the the this is blockbuster video type place called block blister video where everyone would rent these movies and say this wasn't i was trying to rent titanic and that wasn't titanic and they go oh no it was much better and it was basically that this whole family would like make their own cheap version of the movie and like put it on and they were you know people would rent the movie and they wouldn't get the real movie they would get this cheap version that the family made and it was really bad and everything but it's a this is a really really fun you know show moody's point was another one of the classic series uh you know but a great one really glad like i said to have a you know, a season of this release, and hopefully we get more of them uh, down the line. And now this is another one that I never, this is like, I never thought we'd get DVDs of this. And there's never been anything released of this, and this is something I remember when I was a kid, and I, and I always remember this really well, too. Um, because, and I didn't even watch the show too much, but I remember it because back in the day at, you know, Universal Studios Florida, when Nickelodeon was there, they had the Nickelodeon Studios tour, and I actually got, went through that a number of different times, the years that I went, and one of the times I saw them doing the makeup, they, you could kind of look at the, some of the stages and stuff and I watched them doing makeup for this show and the main cast was all there getting their makeup done but this is the show here uh, Gola Gola Island and this is the complete season third and fourth season of this like I said these are other ones hopefully they release season one and two of these at some point and this is this the, kind of all on this island with this really weird kind of frog type character and it's just kind of what goes on, on the island It's and it has this great theme song it's like come and let's get together in the blight sunny weather it's sung into Gola Gola Island binya binya <laughs> that's, that's basically how it is but I always liked this show but I always it was one of those things I always like kind of remembered fondly because I, I really loved getting to see them doing the makeup and all that stuff back then this one here is from um uh, you know, from Acid Bath Productions is also from MovieZing.com. This is uh, Mind Melters 2. And this is a collection of like short films and like interviews and that kind of stuff. And in here, though, I have a scene in here uh, playing this crazy scientist that's talking about like making this big dog and stuff like that. So I have like a quick little cameo in this one here. Like I said, this is called Mind Melters 2. Uh, the other one here, this is um, from Lee Mark Studios, and this is also from MovieZing. And this is one I never got a copy of this one. And I and I always and people, somebody asked me about it recently, and I realized I never talked about that it was available on Blu-ray. And this is a movie that I have a fun part in uh, called Killer Robots Crash and Burn. This is a movie that I shot... I think it was like in 2011 and this released in 2016 on blu-ray and it's basically though about like these crazed like these robots and, the, and like i play one of the like the villain robots in this one and it's all done like 100 percent of the movie was done on green screen and i played this like i have this big robot suit that i'm wearing in this one this is back when i was really heavy but this is a really fun movie and like i said like it's all like these crazy robots and everything in this one but this has a bunch of different features on here it has behind the scenes footage of blooper reel on here trailers music videos interviews on this one but like I said one of you guys know this was available I always had totally forgot to talk about this one uh, this one here the last one from Movie Zing is a movie here from Level 33 Entertainment called Ingenium Ingenium here and this is basically though this one's a little bit hard to explain but it's basically though about this girl who goes to um, a vacation on Bangkok and it's kind of like something weird and stuff happens to her when she's there and it's kind of like there's like this connection to her and her one friend who's like in the, 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 um, the asi insane asylum and she she kind of has to kind of find this girl and to figure out exactly what all these things mean because she's having these things that kind of come in her life that are like clues and they kind of mean certain things and it's kind of her trying to get to the bottom of what all this stuff means like I said it's very hard to explain but a really interesting movie this has on here though outtake and blooper reel has a visual effects making of as well as a making of featurette on this one and the next one here is from quiver entertainment now this is a movie this has amazing animation like I love the look of these of this movie but it's a movie here called to your last death and this has in here um voices by Ray Weiss uh Bill Mosley William Shatner 
Shatner. And this is basically though about this this guy who's like kind of like the head of this corporation, played by you know voiced by Ray Weiss. And like the way they animated the people too, they look like them too. They have that really like look to the characters. And basically though, he ends up like. Um, kind of calling his family into this meeting uh, and he hasn't seen these his kids in a long time and he gets there though and he kind of basically he's like well I promise you, you these things and he promises them all death basically he just can't stand his kids because he finds out that he's sick and he's dying so he ends up getting his kids all to kill him but then all of a sudden though right before the one daughter ends up getting killed she kind of wakes back up again and realizes though that she gets like in this kind of time warp where she has to kind of figure out exactly how to survive and kind of try and do these things over again and try and save her family and everything so she has to figure out how to work that out and do that and it's kind of like one of those sort of like time loop kind of things but it also has all these it's like super super great gory and crazy stuff in here but this is a really really cool movie like i said the animation in this one is great like i absolutely love the style and the look of this one but this one was a really really cool movie this one is from quiver entertainment and it's called to your last death uh, the next one here, this is from Screen Media, and this one is actually a sequel. I've never seen the first movie, but I don't. This is one, not one where you have to see the first movie though to understand it. The, the, that's a sequel though to the movie called Blackwater. But this is Blackwater Abyss, and this one is basically about a group of friends that are going and like, exploring this cave system, and they kind of go down there, like deep down in this cave, and of course they unknowingly go down there, and there's these gigantic like crocodile alligator stuff under there, and it's basically kind of like crawl kind of a situation, also mixed with like you know um, open water kind of thing where they like they're kind of trapped out there in this cave where these alligators are out there. And it's kind of them exactly trying to figure out exactly how they're going to survive, what they're going to do, how they're going to get out of this cave. And it's kind of like one problem after another happened to them while they're down there. But this is a really intense movie. Like I said, kind of in the style of something like Crawl and those type of ones. But I actually thought this one was a very, very cool, uh, like big killer crocodile movie, like underground in this cave system here. But really cool one. Like I said, this is called Blackwater Abyss. And the next ones here, these ones are all from Severin Films. And these are some really cool releases. This is one that I had heard about for years, so so glad to get to see this movie because it's one of those films that was kind of tied up in all kinds of like uh, stuff because it used clips from other movies and all this kind of stuff, and and it even uses clips from like um, the one movie, The Last Shark, which I always that's one movie that I keep on hoping someday gets to come to Blu-ray as well. And I, and I and I was like that scene in there when they were windsurfing looked like the same shot from like the opening of that movie, and I'm pretty sure it was because it said they used some of the stuff in it. But it has this is a movie here called Cruel Jaws, and this is a great like ridiculous shark movie about and it's pre basically taking the entire plot and the same exact story as everything is Jaws for the most part about like they're trying to have like this windsurfing event and there's like a shark attack and then the, the mayor doesn't want to cancel the windsurfing event and the big like uh, big celebration because like of the money that's coming into the town and then there's a guy in here and they even say on the back is like a real Hulk Hogan kind of guy and it's like he has the same look as Hulk Hogan the same kind of hair dyed blonde and everything it's like I wonder if the guy knew he looked like Hulk Hogan or not or he was trying to look like that or what but it was like there it, this is like a totally totally ridiculous movie uh but it was really fun like i, I really like this one a lot here this is uh, and it looks great here on blu-ray i'm so glad to finally have it this has finally come to blu-ray but it has on here the home video version as well as the um the director's cut of the movie as well and and the director's name is you know william snyder but it's not it's, it's actually bruno Mattei, but he goes by the name william, you know william snyder in this so they call it the snyder cut so that's kind of funny it has on here though a study of shark exploitation Rebecca McKendry on here has an interview on here with actor Jay Collagen as well as the trailer for the film the other one here this is another one that I always liked this movie I really love the music in this as well they use the same music in a movie called Blast Fighter or they kind of changed it a little bit but it had it you know it's from um was it Claudio Cemente did the music, I think? I can't remember for sure if it's Claudio Cemente, but it has really, really great music in here. This is a cannibal film here called Massacre in Dinosaur Valley. And this is basically, though, about like people that are going, like they're going on this... Um, kind of like plane trip uh, where they kind of like see the Amazon rainforest and stuff like that and one guy's there like he's like explorer trying to find cer a certain thing um, you know um, and basically though he's like looking for dinosaur bones and things like that and, but of course so this group uh, and they're all kind of going on this trip to like see see like this specific area the plane ends up crashing and they end up crashing down and trying to figure out exactly how they're going to survive out there and of course there ends up being cannibals out there that are coming after them and, it's, and it has the same vibe as like, of, like Cannibal Holocaust the same sort of 
feel to it and everything, but great music. <laughs> I, I love this movie. This has on here, though, an interview on here with actor Michael Spakov. Uh, it has on here an interview on here with the co-writer, deleted and extended scenes reel, trailer, Italian credits, but a really, really cool movie here. The other one here, I can't really show the cover because it's kind of gross, but it's a movie here called Primitives. I'll just kind of like, um, I guess I'll show just the disc. It's like it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of gory and everything, but it's a movie here called Primitives. And this is a movie here from, um, uh, this is uh, from, what, this is an Indonesian film from 1980, and it's basically though about like um, like a cannibal movie from the from the 80s, but it was from 1980. Uh, but it's like an Indonesian cannibal movie, but it was actually a pretty cool, really creepy one. It has the same feel though as Cannibal Holocaust. But it has on here though an interview on here with the producer, has an interview on here with the screenwriter, alternate title sequence, trailer on this one. And this is one of those ones that was like one of those video nasty kind of movies that was always kind of banned and stuff like that. Here, like I'll show you like a quick look at the top here, primitive. So like I said, I just cover things up just so no one says anything and with YouTube and everything. Uh, the next ones here though are both from Gravitas Ventures, and this is a movie here called A Feral World. And this is basically, though, like a post apocalyptic movie. And it's basically, though, about, you know, this, um, uh, you know, this basically this mother that ends up, you know, tracking down this kid out there in the middle of, um, you know, nowhere out in the middle of like, you know, like I said, it's like a Mad Max kind of thing out in the middle of nowhere. People are surviving out there. And basically, though, you know, he ends up, you know, finding this wo the, the woman and she kind of, you know, kind of helps and protects him. And she's out there trying to find, you know, her, her daughter at the same time. So it's basically like this kind of journey going through these areas and kind of coming across bad people, coming across like kind of having to survive certain situations and all these kind of things. Things, but it's a really cool post-apocalyptic movie. Uh, like I said, this is called A Feral World. The other one here, this is from Gravitas Ventures as well. This is a really fun, kind of like, kind of reminded me of like Invaders from like straight Space Invaders, I think it was, and a lot of those kind of movies, like Paul a little bit, but it's a movie called Alien Addiction. And this is basically though about these two aliens that kind of like, um, kind of, you know, these, these, these guys discover these two weird aliens. And it's kind of like they become friends with these aliens and they kind of go around and kind of have like weird adventures with these aliens and are kind of like they're, they're, the aliens are kind of like these Bill and Ted kind of guys or something they're like really strange goofy aliens and, and, and like I said it has that vibe of like strange invaders I think that's what it was from the 80s it has that kind of feel to it and it's basically though them they're you know, kind of going and like partying with the aliens and going on adventures with the aliens around the town and everything. It's just a really, really fun, wacky, you know, comedy film here, but I really like this one a lot. Uh, the other one here, I'm so glad this one now has a Blu-ray release, and this is from Unearthed Films, and this is the, the late Ryan Nicholson's film here, uh, Live Feed. This is actually the first Ryan Nicholson movie that I had ever seen of his. And this is the two-disc collector's edition here, and this is a movie that's very much like a movie, like a hostile-type film about people that are in, um, was it, they take a trip to, to Asia, and they end up it's like going to this area where they have like all the different kinds of foods and stuff like that and uh, they have like they're serving some really weird stuff out there that grosses them out but then they end up kind of going into this weird building that's nearby and they end up getting like trapped in there and it's like a torture kind of thing essentially like I said like a hostile situation it's them in there trying to figure out exactly how they're going to get out with these crazed people in there but it's a really really cool super intense movie but it has on here tons of features it's the two disc uh, director you know, you know edition here which has the adults only version commentary on here with Ryan Nicholson and cast behind the blood making of live feed uh, it has on here something on here return to the Venus theater location deleted in alternate scenes alternate ending video feed a short film on here but it has over 17 hours of features on here but a really really great release uh, of the film here and the next ones here are all from Umbrella Entertainment and these are some really cool Australian releases here to let you guys know are available now three of these ones are region free which means you can watch these ones no problem in a US uh, Blu-ray player uh, but then there's uh, two of them that one of them is in the PAL format and the other one is region B locked and I'll let you guys know which ones those are so those are ones you would have to have an all region region free player to play them but the first one this is one of the region free ones and this is a movie here called Clue and this is a movie which stars Tim Curry and it also has Christopher Lloyd in here Michael McKean uh, Martin Mole I, a great cast in this movie this is a really really fun movie it's a you know when you think of like who done it this is like one of the ultimate who done it movies basically someone dies at this at this group you know all people get together for this kind of party 
that they're all brought together and someone dies there and it's kind of like them getting to the bottom of who is behind the killing and who is the killer like well one of the, you here is the killer and it's kind of like you know the whole thing of who is it and it was fun too is on here though it has all three different alternate endings on here because it has like alternate versions to how it could end so there's not really one exactly you know real ending to this movie there's three different ones that it could be so that's one thing that's kind of cool about this but I always have really loved this movie if you guys have never seen this movie this is definitely a must watch really fun movie like I said it has all three surprise endings as well as the theatrical trailer on this one the other one here is the movie which stars Burt Reynolds uh, called The Longest Yard Now this is the original film this was also remade with Adam Sandler and I like the remake as well uh, both of them were really fun movies and it's basically though about Burt Reynolds character who's this football star who is like on this joyride and he ends up getting arrested and put into prison and he basically has to go and coach the football team and it's kind of like you know these people some of them are really good some of them really are not great and he's kind of having to try and train them and try and make them win and it's just kind of like the wacky kind of stuff that goes on with like this football you know team in prison I always like another one that I always really like this movie but a really fun movie this one is also region free as well so you guys can watch this one in US players this one here is region free too uh, and this one is um from Umbrella Entertainment's brand new line called Sunburnt Classics and this is basically a movie this is a movie here called The Last Wave which is directed by Peter Weir and this one is has a whole bunch of features on here as well, but this movie is basically though about this lawyer who's going to defend these people that were accused of this murder, and it's basically though, when he gets there though, it's like an aboriginal tribe, and he basically though, goes and like starts having these weird visions and weird sort of things start to happen to him. It's a really, really interesting movie. It has on here though, interview on here with Richard Chamberlain, interview on here with the producer, interview with the director of photography. It has uh, trailers from hell on here with Brian Trenchard Smith, you know, edit from the 1980 documentary. Uh, on here, you know, it's Ryan Trenchard Smith, I, I believe he was director of like uh, Dead End Drive In, and I think it was Leprechaun 3 and 4, and a whole bunch of different movies. Uh, it also has a theatrical trailer on here and a gallery on this one. Here's a look though inside at this one. Now this one, this is uh, region, uh, this is in the re region four, and this is also in the PAL format. So you guys would have to have an, a region free DVD player for this one. This is a movie here called Cult Girls, and this is basically though about these girls that are you know in this cult, like these these sisters that are in a cult, and the one girl ends up escaping from this cult, and the other ones have kind of gone missing, and they you know are still in this group. And basically, the girl that got out feels like she's found something that kind of is drawing her back to where this cult is. So it's basically like with this you know her trying to go and find her sister again but getting back into this whole thing it's a really pretty cool uh, film it has on here too a commentary track on here uh, making a featurettes 1993 short film uh, music videos on here uh, you know directed by Martin you know the director of the film but a really interesting one here like I said just keep in mind though this is in the PAL format and the last one this one is um, region B locked this is from the Ozploitation Classics line. It's a movie here called Hostage. And this is about a woman who, you know, finds out that her husband is this Nazi sympathizer. And it's basically, though, like, you know, it gets really bad with how he is. And he's like, he tries to, like, get her to Germany and all these kind of things. It's a intense, uh, you know, seldom talked about movie. I, they put out some really great stuff from the Ozploitation Classics line here. And this one has on here, though, a theatrical trailer, Australian uh, video trailer, behind the scenes, image gallery, anatomy and action scene on this. This one locations on here you know talking about the film locations on here but some really cool releases here from um, Umbrella Entertainment the next ones here, these ones are the last ones, and these are all from um, from the website Stinky Tuna. And this these ones are uh, the ones I want you guys to know were available. And this one here is the uh, the Babysitter, the Killer Queen. This is the newest Babysitter film. But I love the first Babysitter movie, uh, and I don't want to spoil too much about this if you guys have not seen the first movie. But I like this one just you know I didn't like it as much, but I still did like a lot of it. It didn't have the same composure though, and it didn't have the same writer, so it had a little bit of a different feel to this one than the first movie. But it's basically though that you know the characters from the first movie. The one kid who had his babysitter come over, and then she, her, all of her friends came over, and they were performing this weird type of sacrifice in the house. And the kids could have saw this, and then they were all coming after him. And this is kind of like what happens, you know, after the first movie. And it's a couple of years later, and now you know they're going on this trip out to her. The, the one kid and the one girl he likes from school are going on this kind of school field trip out to the lake, and then like these characters are back, and it's kind of like them trying to survive out there. And if you guys know the first movie it was a super had super crazy gore scenes and stuff and this one is just the same with that it has like really crazy over the top gore and everything on this one but a really really cool movie like I said really glad to have a blurry of this one and these ones are all exclusively from stinky tuna uh, the other one here is um this is um 
the movie, uh, you know, uh, Britney runs a marathon, and this is a fun movie too about this girl who's like trying to lose weight and everything, uh, and it's just like kind of like for this competition and everything, you know, for the New York City Marathon. But I like this one a lot. Uh, the other one here is a movie with Joseph Gordon-Levitt uh, called Seventy Five Hundred on here and this is basically him on the plane and there's like a terrorist type thing that is going on uh this is another one that was a really cool movie this one though i'm so glad though to finally have on a blu-ray put on a, on a blu-ray disc in hd and this is the james cameron movie true lies you know it stars arnold schwarzenegger in here bill paxton uh you know um but a really, really cool movie, but so glad to have this one on Blu-ray. And like I said, all these ones are available exclusively from uh, Stinky Tune. I'll have a link below for their website. But anyway, though, guys, I know there was a whole lot of reviews in this video, tons and tons. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys later.